coffee. I got my tea. Coffee, it's coffee. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I am so sorry that I've been gone for so long. Like, life. It got. Uh, uh. I decided to start this new segment on my channel and I think you guys will really really like it and I feel like I'm really gonna enjoy filming it so basically this segment is gonna be called tea time with Ty where instead of tea I drink coffee and I'm gonna have my iced coffee right here and I'm going to post different topics that you guys want me to give my personal opinion on or advice on I guess on my different social media platforms and whichever one gets the most votes or whichever one gets shouted out the most that is the one I will give my opinion on so I kind of wanted to do just like a test run of this and see how you guys like it and so the one that got the most was dating and dating advice more specifically talking the talking stage It's about, to, it's about to be a lot because one thing that really, really ruffles my feathers, grinds my gears, burns my toast is the talking stage. Mainly because what tends to happen in the talking stage is people then get led on. And if you don't know what getting led on means, it basically is where someone just makes you think it's something that it's not. So they make you feel like you guys are talking and dating or, and are doing all the little couple things. Then they tell you, I don't like you or this isn't gonna work out. And then you're left feeling brokenhearted. Like, why are we going on dates? Why are we posting, you know, on Instagrams and going on vacations and doing all kinds of things? when we're not a couple. My opinion on the talking stage is definitely both parties, you both need to be somewhat in the same mindset of what it is, you know? You don't wanna move too fast and you don't want your partner to move too fast either. You know, you guys, I feel like you need to, communication, communication, relationships, your relationship will always fail if communication does not succeed. Communication, in my opinion, is the foundation of every relationship. If your communication is bad, honey, that relationship is gonna come tumbling down, tumbling down. If your foundation is not firm, your building cannot stand. If you have a firm foundation, that building will stand forever, you know, if you take care of it, you know? And just like a building, a relationship is kind of the same. You know, there's different levels. It takes a lot to build it, but you know, if you do it right, then the building is really beautiful, you know? And so my thing on the talking stage, I feel like with my generation, dating is just not, it ain't it sis, it's not it. And I'm not speaking for all the guys or all the girls, but it just dating in this generation is really sad because what dating used to be it used to be, you know, about building, you know, that relationship and that connection with that person, you know. And now it's all about just body image, how many likes you guys can get on Instagram, how many views you guys will get on YouTube, the paycheck. It's not about the feelings necessarily. It's definitely about the looks and the likes of everyone on the outside, you know. And you guys could have the worst relationship ever, but you both will stay in a horrible you know, toxic relationship for a like, you know? These make me look like I'm about to drop some knowledge. I see a lot of guys and girls, you know, bragging about having thoughts and having sides, and it's just, it's not cute. You know, diseases, honey, they're real. People don't, pe that's time out. People are not afraid of diseases anymore. Like, I just don't get it. Like, <laughs> nowadays I can't necessarily speak for the older people the older generations on how they're doing with their people and dating but as far as my generation y'all we got to do better when I look at the talking stage and I'm not gonna lie there have been many times where I've been led on during the talking stage and for me the definition of the talking stage is basically a trial and error to see if you guys really can last you know relationship first you start off with liking that person then i feel like the talking stage is to get to know that person and if you just like someone and then you go straight into dating that person 
that's the foundation that it's not a good foundation it's not going to stand because there's so much you guys skipped over that's like going inside of a classroom the first day of school and taking a test nine times out of ten you're going to fail the test because you weren't taught any of the things that are on the test and so it's the same with dating you know and with talking to someone you have to get to know them that's very very important if you don't know them then <sighs> at this point i've been led on so many times i'm like I'm not going to allow you to do that, so I'm going to keep my guard up as long as I possibly can, and I'm not letting it down at all because I don't want to feel that ever again. You know, you give your all to someone when you're there for someone. You get so tired of just being used, and it's just, it's not funny, and it's not fair, and for people that think it's funny to, you know, lead people on and to just misuse people who go around bragging, thinking that it's okay to, you know, just treat people just horrible it's not okay you know we should never strive to treat people horrible our goal should never be to hurt someone you know we should go out our way and do everything we can to make people feel happy and to feel included and when you lead someone on it's just it's not a good feeling it's really hurtful it's really manipulating it's really not fun you know you don't want to ever leave someone looking stupid you know that's never fun you know there's been many situations where i've been in where I knew if I didn't say something, I was going to lead this person on. And I know what it feels like to be let on. So I don't want that person to feel that way, you know? So I will be honest with them because with me, I'd rather you be 120% clear, transparent, honest with me than to have me looking stupid and lead me on. You know? Talking. Like, we all know what talking is. The biggest question that I come across, people are always like, is talking considered dating? In my opinion, talking in a way is considered dating. I feel like if you and a person are talking to someone, that does not give you the right to go and talk to someone else. If you are talking to someone, that is still somewhat tiny uh, 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 form of dating. You talk to someone because you want, you have intentions of dating that person. So why homeboy, why do you go and talk to other girls? That's not okay, that will never be okay. I feel like if you go and decide to talk to other people while you're talking to someone, do you see where I'm going here? There's no point in even wanting to date that person. You crush, you talk, and then after you talk, you date. You know, and then after you date, sugar boom, y'all last in, then y'all get married, y'all get married, then y'all do what y'all do. I don't, you see how it goes? So in my opinion, talking definitely to me is a form of dating. If I'm talking to a guy, I'm not entertaining these other guys because I'm talking to this one, working on this relationship, you know? If you talk to someone, that's because you and this, and I got an email. If you and another person decide to start talking, that is because you guys have come to the agreement that you want to date and pursue a relationship. Before you pursue a relationship with someone, a relationship is a lot of work. So you need that trial and error, which is the talking phase. You get to know them. You, you know, you guys go on dates when you talk, you guys. You basically are already dating when you're talking. It's just dating without the label. Let me break this down for y'all. So many people use talking as a gateway or a fence or something to cheat. They're like, well, we're not dating. Y'all are still talking. Talking is still a form of dating. I don't, I don't care. At the end of the day, y'all can have y'all's own opinions on dating and talking. In my opinion, talking is a form of dating. I am not going to go entertain the community if I'm talking to this guy. Like, why would I talk to other guys if I'm talking to this one? When I'm telling this guy right here, I want a relationship with you. So, yes, we can start talking. So, why would I? Why? you Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me in the comments how y'all feel about it. But at the end of the day, it's your relationship, not mine. I'm just telling y'all how I feel on talking. That's how I feel about talking. If it's done right, it's gonna work. If it's not done right, then it's not gonna work. Read the red flags, you know? Read the red flags. Look at them, observe them, snatch them down, pin them to your shirt. 
do what you gotta do relationships they're cute they're so cute like honestly don't waste your time on someone who isn't thinking you know nothing about you you know don't go out of your way for someone who'd never go out their way for you that talking stage is dangerous it's it's dangerous I feel like a lot of people, they create their own definitions of what talking is, which is so funny. It's so stupid. I don't get it. It's just, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. When you talk to someone, you don't talk to someone else. When you commit yourself to someone, commit yourself to that person. You know at the beginning of a relationship when you meet someone, when you see someone that you start crushing on, you know if you just want to smooch, you know if you just want to hunch them. What is it? You know if you just want to hunch, you know if you just want to smooch, and you know if you really want something with this person. If I meet a guy and I know my heart is not dead set on him, I'm going to be straight up with him and, be, and I'm going to tell him like, listen my dude, listen G, I don't really... I don't really this ain't gonna work it's all about communication it's all about honesty like i promise you if people learn how to communicate and be honest our generation will be saved will be good will be oh kizel will be good you know then we can be like our grandparents and be all booed up in a fireplace watching movies and just watching the scenery sunsets we can be cute but our generation don't want to be honest and they don't want to have communication so that's why so many of our generation fail english class and communications class because they can't get the lives right and they can't be honest and communicate so until then our relationship's gonna keep that well y'all will i'm not i'm not you know I'm not dating no time soon because I've had enough. I've had enough. I, I've had enough. So that's going to be it for today's Tea Time with Ty where instead of tea I drink coffee. And I hope you guys really like it. I am really excited to film these. I hope you guys actually learned a lot from it. And I hope it was very entertaining for you guys to all watch. And so please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you are, then welcome back. I love you and thank you for subscribing to my channel. And so I will see you guys with the next video. Go get your guys' coffee next time and drink with me.